Did King Charles III retract his generous offer of Windsor Castle to Prince William and Kate? This question has been echoing in the hallowed halls of royal residences, stirring up whispers of a royal real estate rethink. As we delve into this riveting riddle, we find ourselves confronted with two possible scenarios. On the one hand, we have the tantalizing prospect of grand visions and ambitious reshuffle of royal residences, a Game of Thrones played out in stone and mortar. On the other, we face the possibility of a genuine intent thwarted by the relentless tide of royal duties and health concerns. Was this grand gesture a mere flight of fancy, or a sincere plan undone by the realities of royal life? The narrative of royal real estate is as complex as it is compelling, a delicate dance of tradition, duty, and change. The royal real estate rethink raises questions about the interplay between grand plans and the reality of royal duties. As principal royals step back, what becomes of the dutiful royal staff? It's a question that has left many pondering. The royal staff, those who work tirelessly behind the scenes, are often overlooked, yet their roles are so deeply interwoven with the public engagements and private lives of the royals. They are the unsung heroes of the monarchy, ensuring the smooth execution of royal duties, and maintaining the high standards expected of the regal household. But what happens when the royals they serve retreat from their usual duties? The palace staff find themselves adrift, their well-laid plans and meticulous preparations temporarily cast aside. The continuity they are accustomed to is disrupted, replaced by an air of uncertainty. It feels as though the intricate tapestry of palace life has been abruptly unraveled, leaving the staff to pick up the threads. Yet, amidst this upheaval, there's a silver lining. The unexpected lull in royal activities presents an opportunity for the staff to pause, reflect, and perhaps even catch up on the myriad behind-the-scenes tasks that often get sidelined in the hustle and bustle of royal life. It's a chance to step back, reassess, and perhaps even find new ways to contribute to the enduring legacy of the monarchy. In the face of uncertainty, the royal staff may find an unexpected opportunity to pause and reflect. Who knows what innovative ideas and fresh perspectives this period of reflection might bring. Change can be daunting, but it can also be a catalyst for growth and evolution. Let's not forget that even in the grandest of palaces, adaptation is key to survival. Prince William steps away from the regal stage to attend to familial duties. But what does this mean for the future of the royal family? In the grand tapestry of royal life, every thread represents a commitment, a duty, a responsibility. Prince William's decision to step away from public service to attend to familial duties throws into sharp relief the delicate balance that each royal must navigate. It's a ballet of sorts, a dance between public service and private life, each step carefully measured, each turn thoughtfully executed. This isn't a retreat but rather a recalibration, a recognition that the roles of royalty are not immutable, but flexible and adaptable to the ebb and flow of personal needs and public expectations. It's a shift that might just shape the future of the royal family, making way for a more nuanced approach to royal duties, a path that allows for the necessary pauses, the quiet moments away from the public eye. It's a delicate balance indeed, a juggling act that reminds us that behind the regal facade, the royals are people too, with families to care for, personal health to attend to, and private moments to cherish. It's a balance that humanizes them, that makes their world a little more relatable, a little less distant. And perhaps, as we watch Prince William navigate this new path, we'll see a royal family that is more reflective of the times we live in, a family that embraces change while honoring tradition, a family that understands the importance of balance. Prince William's retreat presents a poignant picture of the delicate balance between public service and private life. Kate's discreet departure from the hospital hints at a deeper, more introspective approach to their public persona and private endeavors. This recent event marks a noticeable departure from the customary public spectacle, speaking volumes about the evolving narrative of the royal family. In this new chapter, we see a royal narrative where family takes precedence over fanfare. The quiet exit of Kate from the hospital, shunning the usual pomp and show, suggests a shift in the royal perspective. This shift symbolizes a royal family that values the sanctity of private life and personal healing over the relentless pace of public duties. 
It's a subtle yet significant change, hinting at a future where the royal family may choose to balance their public roles with their private lives more discreetly. This could lead to a more sustainable model of royal life, where personal well-being is not sacrificed at the altar of public service. The evolving royal narrative suggests a future where family takes precedence, and the frenetic pace of royal life gives way to personal healing and family bonding. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, Prince William's remarkable love, serving Catherine wholeheartedly. Did you know that channel members can get an exclusive video every week? That's on top of custom emojis, loyalty badges, and an extra quiz question every day. Sign up link is in this video's description.